we are given a sequence. The first number that we have is 1 half, and then the second number that we have is negative 4 over 3. And the next one is 9 over 4, and then we have negative 16 over 5, and then 25 over 6. We are going to find a formula for this sequence. How can we do that? Begin with n is equal to 1, we get this. And when n is equal to 2, we get that, and so on. And we should always ask ourselves, is it possible for us to go from the first number to the second number? What do we need to do? So maybe multiply or add with 1 half, so we get negative 4 over 3. It's kind of hard, right? But then, when we have fraction, this is also one of the things that we can do. How about let's just consider the numerators. Let's just focus on the top numbers. The number-wise, we have 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. What are those numbers? They are just the perfect square, isn't it? However, the sign alternates. We start with positive 1, and then negative 4, and then positive 9, and then negative 16, and then positive 25. So this is um, a strategy. Now let me write down the formula for this. Just the numerator for now. And as we mentioned, we are going to have n squared to get the value. For example, when the fifth term, n is equal to 5, to get 25, we just need to do 5 squared, that's 25. And likewise, if n is equal to 4, 4 squared will get a 16. And this is how we are going to take care of when the sign alternates. We are going to multiply by a factor, negative 1 raised to some power. If we begin with positive term, this is the positive 1, we can just raise the negative 1, put that in the parentheses, to the n minus 1 power. You can do this with n plus 1 as well, doesn't matter. And we can do a quick check. For example, if n is equal to 4, plugging 4 into this n, we get 4 minus 1, which is 3. Negative 1 raised to the third power, we have negative value. And that's how we get negative, and then 4 squared, which is 16. Okay? And you can do it with n plus 1, but then that works for when you have um, a term start with positive, and then the next one is negative, positive, negative, and so on. If you start with negative term, then you can just go ahead and change this to only n. That will work. All right, so that takes care of the numerator. And now the bottom, the, the, the bottom is what? Well, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What happens? When n is equal to 1, we get 2. When n is equal to 2, we get 3. When n is equal to 3, we get 4. On the bottom, it's just n, whatever the n value is, and then you just add 1 to it. Right? Because, for example, on the fifth turn, to get the bottom, we know n is equal to 5, but what we need to do is plus 1. That's it. And therefore, this right here will be a formula for this sequence. That's it.